Aloha. Thanks for your consideration of the views expressed in this think tech commentary, which we are calling You Won't Like It At All If Trump Is Re-Elected. Let's think about what happens if Trump manages to delay, deflect, or escape from all the suits and prosecutions against him and nevertheless wins or successfully but falsely claims to win the election in November. The problem is that people don't understand how dangerous he is, how hard he will work to make himself an instant and permanent autocrat on day one, and the awful things he will do to the country and the world if he gets back into office. If you hadn't noticed it, Trump is more experienced on breaking the rules and more adept and determined to do so. His actions and threats are worse now, and he is very likely to carry them out, even if they are self-interested, corrupt, and destructive. We should all be concerned. His threats aren't just theoretical. They are real. This will affect everyone in the country, even people who are so misguided as to vote for him. The irony is that we will all be the victims. There are many reasons to be concerned. Sadly, we have taken our civil liberties for granted, including those guaranteed by the Bill of Rights. If Trump gets back into office, many of those civil liberties will be lost, and it will be too late to get them back. We will all regret not having done more to elect someone else. You won't like what happens. It will affect you and your family and your daily life. It will affect your children and the generations to follow. You will be leaving those generations with an irreversible, crushing autocracy under Trump and his successors. Is this what you want? Think Hitler's Germany, Mussolini's Italy, Putin's Russia. Think of children telling on their parents, friends telling on their friends. There are some things we can do. You can vote for someone else and never Trump. Given the lack of honesty, morality, and decency in the Republican Party and their open loyalty to Trump, you should consider voting for Democrats instead. In any event, don't support or give money to Trump. Speak and write against his lies, threats, and outlandish claims, now and God forbid even if he wins or claims to win later. Not my president. Ever. Here's the takeaway. If you're sitting on the sidelines or making the mistake of supporting or sending money to Trump, you really should reconsider what you're doing in light of what he's saying and what he might do later. In the end, it is you who will be the tragic victim of your own folly. Thanks for your consideration of the views expressed in this Think Tech commentary, which we are calling, You Won't Like It At All If Trump Is Re-Elected. Aloha.